Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning to all my students. Okay, so in this video, we are going to recall, discuss, and find the solution for a uh, clone of PSPM question for recall. Uh, topic of SM015 <coughs> Mathematics for Semester 1, Session of 2021 and 22. Okay, class. Uh, <coughs> For your information that this format of <coughs> objective uh, mathematics examination paper is what uh, we call it introduced for the first time okay uh, due to the we call <coughs> pandemic of COVID-19 and I have no idea whether this idea of we call objective math question will be continued for the next time <coughs> for the next session or might be this will be the first and last Okay, so uh, without wasting so much time, uh, let me explain to all of you that this uh, mathematics uh, examination paper have two parts. <coughs> where part A with ten mark, with uh, we call ten questions each, and for part B there will be twenty questions. So overall, there are twenty questions that all of you must answer it. Okay, there is no option. Answer all the questions below within one and half an hour. So. <coughs> So if you uh, if you refer to the previous uh, PSPM math paper, it will be different, totally different, because has time for subjective. It is a uh, uh, object because subjective uh, solid papers where every single step or every single working solution is a max. But for this time, for this kind of objective papers, final answer is the most important part things here. Okay. So forget about the previous uh, we call method. So let's go into the, this one here now. Okay, <clears throat> for last for the first question here. Okay, so for these questions, uh, we cannot simply substitute x equal to zero. Okay, especially in this part of the denominator because we substitute uh, x with zero. Any values, okay, any values on the top of numerator here, divide by zero. And the whole function is undefined or meaningless. So we try to avoid that. So now, limit of uh, x approaching to 0, square root of 3 minus x, minus square root of 3, divide by x. Okay. We are going to multiply this with, uh, we call, uh, <coughs> opposite of this, or we call a conjugate, with square root of, 3 minus x. So let's take a look at this one here. Negative, come up with a positive here. Square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 minus x plus square root of 3. Okay. So then this one multiplied with this. Limit x approaching to 0. So square root, multiply square root here, equal to 1, power of 1. So 3 minus x. And this one multiplied with this. Multiply with square root of 3 plus with square root of 3 square root of 3 minus x. And this one here, <coughs> minus square root of 3 times square root of 3 minus x. And multiply this one here, negative, multiply with positive, negative, square root of 3 times square root of 3, 3. And everything divided by <coughs> x and square root of 3 minus x plus square root of 3 okay so cancel between these two so what we have here right now x approaching to 0 3 minus x minus 3 here divide by x and square root of 3 minus x plus square root of 3 okay so 3 minus 3 equal to 0 x divide by x so what's left here now? Limit x approaching to 0. Okay, 3 minus 3, x divided by x. So we got negative 1 divided by square root of 3 minus x and plus square root of 3. Okay. So once we substitute x with 0 here. So what's left here now? Negative 1 divided by square of 3 plus square of 3 then come 2 square root of 3 okay okay 
Okay, that's not the final answer yet. Then for this one here now, Okay, multiply with square root of 3 and square root of 3. So, for this one here now, it's come up with negative square root of 3 divided by 2 times 3, or it is 6. <coughs> so, the final answer here is negative square root of 3 divided by 6, which is uh, negative square root of 3 divided by 6 which is equal to C, right? Okay, negative square root of 3 divided by 6, negative square root of 3 divided by 6. So that is answer for question number 1. Okay, so this question here, question number 2. Uh, with a limit of x approaching to positive infinity, so let's come up with this, uh, we call solution here. Um... We recall factorize taking the x square outside from 4x square plus 2x minus 1. So with x square here, we come up with 4 plus 2 over x minus 1 over x square. And everything divide by, okay, with an x, factorize x plus 1 here, come up with 1 plus 1 over x. So, x times 1 equal to x. x times 1 over x equal to 1. Okay, now, <coughs> for this one, uh, limit x approaching to positive infinity, square root of x square will be equal to x. Square root of x square, because x square and square root here is opposite among them. So, you come up with... <coughs> Uh, x square root of 4 plus 2 over x plus 1 over x squared. Oh, it's minus here, sorry. Okay. And divide by x 1 plus 1 over x. So, divide this two with the x here now. And now, let's substitute x with positive infinity. So, we got 2 over x and 1 over x squared. <coughs> so, just imagine that if x equal to, let's say, when x equal to 10. So, then 2 out of 10, which is 1 over 5 or 0 0.2. When x equal to 100, so then 2 over 100 or it is 1 over 50 which is 0 0.02. And when x equal to 1,000, then 2 over 1,000, which is 1 over 500, equal to 0 0.002. So, from this pattern, you can see that when x is getting bigger, so then 2 over x is getting smaller and smaller, approaching to 0. So, it means that here, this is approaching to 0, and of course, this one was also approaching to 0, and this also approaching to 0. Okay. <coughs> okay. So then, once we substitute x, we're approaching to 0 here, here, and here. So what's left here now? Square root of 4, which is 2 divided by 1 equal to 2. So, the final answer is A. <coughs> okay, now, find the value of M if a limit of this equal to 3. So then, limit X approaching to 0, uh, we got X and also X squared here. So, let's take it out the X factorize X and N plus 3X. Okay, divide by, okay, between 4 and 8, factorize 4, and also add to the x squared, take out one of the x, so then, 1 minus 2x, okay, and this one equal to 3. Okay, so divide 
x with an x here and then now okay substitute x with 0 we got 0 here and we got 0 here so when x equal to 0 everything 0 here and 0 here so that we got n divided by 1 Okay, so we got 4, sorry, I have 4 here and then 1 minus 2 times 0 is 1, so 4 equal to 3, then m equal to 4 times 3 equal to 1. Okay, so I've forgotten to, to mention to you that this is a clone set of Pahang uh, College Metricacy Pahang or Pahang Metricacy College. Okay, so now class Let's take a look at this one here. 4, 5x minus 1 with a domain of x less than 1. <coughs> and negative 2x for x greater than or equal to 1. So, 1. Okay, so then this is for the domain of x less than 1 and greater than or equal to 1. And this is domain for 5x minus 1 and here is negative 2x. Okay. So, find the limit of x approaching to negative infinity. Meaning, we are talking about the domain where x is getting smaller and smaller approaching to negative infinity. <coughs> from, one, no, from 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 5, negative 10, negative 100, negative 50, negative, 50, negative 100, negative 1000 and all that. So, the direction is to the left. So, now, a wish function that related to this situation here now yes it is 5x minus 1 which is that where the domain is x less than 1 so then limit x approaching to negative infinity as we agree just now <coughs> it's a domain for x less than 1 and the dom the function involved which is 5x minus 1 so it's just like we substitute the value of x with all the values of x that getting smaller and smaller approaching to negative infinity. Okay, so uh, imagine that negative infinity with negative 10 times 50, negative 50 minus 1, negative 51. Where, uh, where negative infinity, example of negative 100, negative 100 times 5, negative 500 minus 1, negative 500, 501. Where this is negative thousand, for example, times five negative five thousand minus one negative five thousand one, so it is approaching to negative infinity here, and this one forget just now, which is equal to twelve. Okay, differentiate this with respect to the x. Uh, four x cubed plus differentiate here with x power of negative 2 minus derivative of x respect to the x so for this one here 3 times 4 equal to 12 x squared okay 12 x squared then negative minus 2 x power of negative 3 and then differentiate this come up with 1 okay which one that uh, give an answer of this 12 x squared minus 2 divided by x cubed minus 1. Well, I think that you can guess, you can see clearly here now. 12 x squared minus 2 over x cubed minus 1. It is C here. <coughs> so, differentiate this. Okay, y, okay, given to you in general, y equal to e to the power of fx. So then y prime equal to copy all this again e to the power of fx and then differentiate fx it give you f prime x okay so for this one here now uh, y equal to e to the power of square root of 2x minus 1 okay class square root of 2x minus 1 is also equal to 2x minus 1 to the power of half okay so uh, differentiate this, differentiate uh, of this function here, it gives you 1 over 2, 2x minus 1, to the power of negative 1 over 2, and differentiate 2x minus 1, it gives you 2 here, so 2 divided by 2, then it is 1 multiplied by 
two x minus one power of negative half equal to one over square root of two x minus one. Okay, we're gonna implement this in this question here now. So y prime or dy dx equal to e to the power of square root of two x minus one, and then differentiate this. As you see here now, the derivative of 2x minus 1 power of half equal to this one here. 1 over square root of 2x minus 1. So then, uh, it is e power of square root of 2x minus 1 divided by square root of 2x minus 1. Okay, so let's find out the answer for, for this one in uh, set of recall. The list of answers here is not A, nope, B, nope, C, yes, and D, nope. Okay, that's it. <coughs> okay, so for this question here, guys, differentiate x squared times sine, sine squared of x squared plus 1 respect to the x. Okay, in this case, we assume that this is, okay, represent this with a u, okay, for x square and sine, square root, sine in bracket of x square plus 1 here, we assume as a v. So, using chain rule, okay, y prime equal to u prime multiplied with v plus u multiplied with v prime. So, what is u prime and v prime? Okay, let's list down here where u equal to x square and v equal to sine x square plus 1. Okay, so then u prime equal to differentiate x square, yes, 2x and v prime equal to differentiate of sine cos x square plus 1. Differentiate the function of trigonometric function per sine and give you cos. And then differentiate the function inside. Differentiate x squared plus 1, it gives you 2x. So then 2x cos x squared plus 1. Okay, so then differentiate of this function y prime or dy dx equal to u prime. u prime equal to 2x. And v equal to sine x squared plus 1. Plus with u x squared. Okay, u equal to x squared here. And v prime. v prime equal to, <coughs> okay, u which is equal to x squared, x squared here. Okay, and v prime equal to 2x cos x squared plus 1. Okay, so then 2x sine x square plus 1 plus with 2x cube cos x square plus 1. Okay, um, <clears throat> we got 2x and 2x cube here. So take a 2x, okay. A sine, sine x squared plus 1 and cos x squared plus 1, we cannot factorize because it's a different trigo function here, sine and cos. So just leave it there. We can just only factorize 2x with 2x cubed. So then here, which is sine x squared plus 1 plus with 2x, take it outside. So what's left here now? x squared cos x squared plus 1. So which one is similar to this one here? Okay, 2x sine x squared plus 1 plus cos x squared plus 1 and 2x sine x squared plus 1 plus x squared. We got x squared here. Cos x squared plus 1. So it is D. Okay. Next. <coughs> okay, differentiate this plus uh, for this kind of question, we strictly use the we call the log rule. Okay, y equal to natural log of square root of x square plus 4x plus 1. Okay, or 
natural log. Square root means that it is x squared plus 4x plus 1 to the power of half. Okay. Square root means the power of half and using the logs rule, we can bring this power to the front here, which is 1 over 2 natural log of x squared plus 4x plus 1. Okay. So now, it's time for, uh, because now after we uh, recall, make some adjustment here until we get half log x squared plus 4x plus 1, it's time for us to differentiate it now. Y prime equal to 1 over 2. Differentiate ln equal to 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 1. Then multiply with derivative of x squared plus 4x plus 1. It gives you 2x plus 4. Okay. So 2x plus 4 divided by 2 here. 2 and this one come up with 2 here. So, x plus 2 multiplied with 1 with x plus 2 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 1. So, which one that's similar answer the answer of this one here? Not A, okay, B, yes. Not C, not D, B, yeah. <coughs> the function of f defined by this one here, find the critical numbers of f. Okay, find f, okay, function of f defined by this one here. Find the critical numbers, meaning that we're going to differentiate this. Let's find f prime x. Okay, so this is our u and this one is our v. So y prime equal to u prime multiplied with v minus u multiplied with v prime divided by v squared. So this is our u here. <coughs> u prime, u prime, so let's differentiate this x squared minus 4x. It gives you 2x minus 4 multiplied with x squared plus 9. Okay, u prime multiplied with v minus u, which is x squared minus 4x, and v multiplied with v prime. v prime equal to 2x divide by v square v is x square plus 9 square okay from here if you rearrange and simplify all this in here you will get f prime equal to okay so i make simplify this you try to expand and simplify by yourself and this is the thing that you should get here now 4x square plus 18x minus 36 divide by okay x squared plus 9 squared. Okay, so if I make this one f prime equal to 0, so cross multiply this, we get 0 here. So only this one, the, we call the numerator left. 4x squared plus 18x minus 36 equal to 0. Click cross multiply. So, x squared plus 9 squared multiplied 0, 0 here. So, only the we call the numerator left. Okay, for this one here now. Okay. So, beside the numerator here, we also can recall, define if that we call the denominator, they cannot be equal to 0. So, let's find this one here now to make the f prime x is undefined. Okay. So, we assume that, that x squared plus 9 squared make it equal to 0. Okay, from here, it's going to give you 2x minus 3 and x plus 6 equal to 0. Okay, square, square root left and right, you know, you call square, we, call, we eliminate this square here, so it becomes now x squared plus 9 to 0. So x squared equal to negative 9. So then from here, there is no solution. Okay, for x squared plus 9 equal to 0, there will be no value of x. Okay, except for x squared, but it's different when it is x squared minus 9. Yes, x equal to plus minus 3. But for x squared plus 9, there will be no solution. Okay, so this one, if I did, we call define 
if make it this one equal to zero okay so we got the recall we uh, look at the numerator make it equal to zero and if the f prime x is undefined it because when the denominator equal to zero okay the whole function is undefined if the denominator equal to zero so i make that uh, separately this one between this and this okay so from here it is now x equal to 3 over 2 and x equal to negative 6 so then the critical numbers are the here to now 3 over 2 and negative 6 then it is answer which is b okay <coughs> Okay, the curve of this has a maximum point at 2 and 10. Find the values of A and B. Okay, so then for this question on number 10, fx equal to uh, ax squared plus bx plus 2. Okay, so then f prime x equal to 2ax plus b. Okay, now we at the maximum point at maximum point of 2 and 10 here okay so let's substitute x with 2 into this function of this one here okay so we got 2a x plus b equal to 0 maximum point okay uh, f prime x So we got 2ax, okay, 2ax plus b equal to 0. And when x equal to 2, 2 times 2 equal to 4a plus b equal to 0. So then b equal to negative 4a. Okay, the equation 1. And then at this point, we substitute into fx. So then f2 equal to a2 squared. Okay, when x equal to 2, f2 here, a2 square plus b times x equal to 2 plus 2. And then this one equal to, when x equal to 2, y equal to 10. Okay, this one we can just look into, uh, we call the function of fx, not f prime. Okay, because this is f2 is value of y, and y here now equal to 10. Okay, so that. Then equal to 2 square equal to 4a plus 2b plus 2. And then substitute b equal to negative 4a. Okay, 10 equal to 4a plus 2. b equal to negative 4a plus 2. Okay, for this one here, uh, 4a and negative 4 times 2 equal to negative 8a. Plus 2, 2 bring it here, 10 minus 2 equal to an 8. Okay, uh, 4a minus a equal to negative 4a. Then a equal to negative 2. Okay, substitute a negative 2 into equation 1 or equation 2 here is up to you then. a negative 2 substitute here. So negative 4 times negative 2 equal to an 8. So a equal to negative 2, b equal to an 8. Negative 2 and b equal to an 8, d. Okay, so that is the answers for the first part, 10 question of part A. So let's take a look at question part B now. Okay, <coughs> if z, find z if given that this one here was z equal to a plus b i. So then 4 plus 2 i multiplied with z plus with 8 minus 2i and z bar equal to negative 2 plus 10i okay find z where z equal to a plus bi so we get the first z here 4 plus 2i multiplied with a plus bi 
plus 8 minus 2i. And z bar means that is a conjugate of z, which is a minus bi equal to negative 2 plus 10i. Okay, 4 times a, 4a plus 4bi, 2i times a, 2ai, then 2 times b, 2b, i times i, i square, i square is negative 1. Okay. 8 times a, positive here, 8a, 8 minus times negative bi, minus 8bi, negative 2i times a, minus 2ai, and then negative times negative, positive, 2 times b, 2bi times i, equal to i square or negative 1, equal to negative 2 plus 10i. Okay, so simplify this, you should get, okay, down here you should get a, okay, 12a equal to 4 times negative 5 over 2 minus 2, which is a equal to negative 1. And from here, it is now z equal to negative 1 minus 5 over 2i. So, try to expand and simplify this until you get this one here. So, for this one, is negative 1 minus 5 over 2i. It is b. Okay, I'm not going to explain everything. I'm just giving you an idea. So, I expand this here so that you simplify, cut, wherever it needs, until you get 12a equal to this one here, then a equal to negative 1. And find b, where b is negative 5 over 2. Okay equal to negative 5 over 2. Okay, natural log of P minus 2 natural log of Q equal to 3 natural log of R. Okay, so we got this to bring up here and also this one bring up here is natural log of P minus natural log of Q square equal to natural log of R cubed. And using the logs rule, log A minus log B equal to natural log of P divided by Q square equal to natural log of R cube. Okay, so then here now, it is P over Q square equal to R cube. Or P equal to uh, Q square R cube. And it is answer for Q square R cube. Determine the value of A if this one, in case cube root of 3 plus AI divided by 1 minus cube root of 3 times I is a real number. Determine the value of A. Okay. Um, cube root of 3 plus ai divided by 1 minus square root of 3i. For this one, we are going to multiply this with a conjugate of denominator, which is 1 plus cube root of 3i divided by 1 plus square root of 3i. Okay, so 1 multiplied with 1. 1 multiplied with 1 equal to 1, 1 times square root of 3i, and then negative square root of 3i times 1, cancelling each other then, so negative times positive, negative square root of 3 times square root of 3, 3, and then i times i, i square, i square which is negative 1, okay, so cube root of 3 times 1, second, no, not cube root, square root of 3, times 1 is square root of 3, and then square of 3 times square of 3 equal to 3i. ai times 1 equal to ai. And then uh, plus with square of 3 times a. Square root of 3 times a. i times i. i square. i square equal to negative 1. Okay. So negative times negative. Positive. And then it is. 1 plus 3 equal to 4. Okay, so now here, uh, 
negative times positive negative square root of 3 minus square root of 3a square root of 3 minus square root of 3 okay no square root of 3a and then plus with 3 plus a with an i so it is square root of 3 1 minus a plus uh, 3 plus a with an i and everything divided by 4 okay so if z is a real number okay class so this one if i separate this in two part which is square root of 3 okay square root of 3 1 minus a divided by 4 plus with 3 plus a i divided by 4 if we call the whole of this is a real is a, okay if a is a real numbers if the, we call the determinant of a if the whole function of this is a real numbers Meaning there will be no imaginary part. When there is no imaginary part, meaning that everything here equal to zero. So let's find out what is the value of a here. For this one here, three plus a divided by four equal to zero. Okay, cross multiply four here with zero, then a equal to negative three. There you go. So a equal to negative. Okay, next, okay, clear this, we need a space to write down the solution for question number 4. Never mind, the, this solution I'll be recall, uh, make into a video so you can just simply uh, recall, make a revision <coughs> by yourself. I click or recall, rewind forward, pause and everything. Okay, now, okay, from here. 15 multiplied with modulus of absolute values of x minus 7 and also 14 with this one here. Okay, bring this to the left side. 15 modulus of x minus 7 minus 14 modulus of x minus 7 equal to 4 being here become negative. So 6 minus 4 equal to 2. Okay, so 15 minus 14 equal to 1. So, 1 times modulus of x minus 7 equal to 2. Okay. So, from here, we have x minus 7 equal to 2 or x minus 7 equal to negative 2. Okay. So, from here, x equal to negative 7. Here, become positive. So, 7 plus 2 equal to 9. Or this one here, negative 7. Here, become positive. So, 7 minus 2 equal to 5 9 or 5 so 5 and 9 here b find the integral of this okay class for topic 2 equation inequalities and absolute values here so it's now from here it is negative modulus of x minus 1 greater than equal to 3 may become negative so 5 minus 3 equal to 2 and then modulus of x minus 1 Multiply with negative left and right. So you change direction of this sign here. For this one here become negative. Okay. So using the basic definition for this one here. You come up with x minus 1. Less than negative 2. And so because it's a less than here. You may come up with a term of n. And then x minus 1 greater than or equal to 2. Uh, wait. Wait a minute. Okay, is n. Okay, uh, x minus 1, which is greater than or equal to. Okay, it's supposedly. Okay, let, <clears throat> let me explain this from the beginning here. Okay, so for less than 
it come up with the term of n okay absolute values of function less than something so that is come up with this one here and negative x minus 1 less than or equal to negative 2 so x minus 1 less than or negative 2 and okay for this one here multiply with negative left and right so you come up with x minus 1 greater than or equal to 2 so that's how we find the function then so now x less than equal to negative 1 we have become positive so negative 2 plus 1 minus 1 and this one here negative 1 we have become positive so 2 plus 1 equal to 3 so we got negative 1 negative 1 and 3 here okay uh this uh, we call x less than negative 1 goes to the left direction of negative 1 here and x greater than negative 3 x greater than 3 to the right side by the way it have the term of n meaning the intersection between this set and this set do you find where these two lines intersect each other no right so they do not intersect each other it's a set now where the answer is a okay now okay so for this one here now for question number six Okay, so log uh, in general is a log to the base of 10. So log a to the base of 10 equal to b. Okay, we change into the we call in a, from log to index form base of 10. We come out with uh, a equal to 10 to the power of b. Okay base of 10 to the power of b equal to an a okay for this one here now this is a log to the base of 10 so change, turn this into an index form uh, 10 to the base 10 to the power of 0 equal to here okay change everything here log 10 log everything here to the function base of 10 equal to 0 change, turn it into an index form this base of 10 this base of 10 then come up with power of 0. So then 10 to the power of 0 equal to the whole function of this log 2 plus log x plus 1 to the base of 2 here. Okay, this is equal to 1. Then this another log to the base of 10. And the function inside 2 plus log x plus 1 to the base of 2. Turn this again into an index form here, 10 to the power of 1. 10 to the power of 1 equal to, then the whole function inside is the, what, the one that is left here now. 2 plus log x plus 1 to the base of 2. Okay, so bring these two to the left side, become 10 power of 1 equal to 10. Okay, 10 power of 1 equal to 10, and then minus 2. So now log x plus 1 to the base of 2 equal to 8. Okay. So now turn this from log x plus 1 to the base of 2 equal to an 8. So turn it into index form 2 to the power of 8 equal to x plus 1. Okay. So for this one here, x equal to 2 to the power of 8, which is... 2, 5, 6, if I'm not mistaken, then 2, 5, 6, and then bring 1 here to the side, become negative 1, then x equal to 255. So then x equal to c. Find the solution set of t, set of values of t, which satisfy this equation here. Okay, so for this one here now, we cannot simply cross multiply t minus 2 with 5 here because this is not an equation. Okay, so what can we do here now is 7t divided by t minus 2. Bring this 5 to the left side, minus 5. And then turn this into a, into a ratio, just like this, with a denominator of t minus 2. So then we come up with t minus 2 and also t minus 2 greater than 0. 
So these two now in a form of fraction or ratio with the denominator of t minus 2 and t minus 2. So we simplify this 7t negative 5 times t minus 5t negative times negative become positive. So 5 times 2 equal to 10 divided by t minus 2 greater than 0. So 7t minus 5t then 2t plus 10 divided by t minus 2 greater than 0. Okay, so from here now, divide by 2, it is, we have t plus 5 divided by t minus 2 greater than 0. Okay, from here, <coughs> uh, greater than, so let t plus 5 greater than 0, you still remember this? So let t minus 2 greater than 0, so t greater than negative 5 and t greater than 2. Okay, negative 5 and 2 both are greater than we got playing with positive and positive negative and positive negative and negative that positive negative positive okay so greater than here you take two is two range here now it is negative five okay less than negative five and greater than two for this one here C. okay okay now Okay, given the function of fx and fgx equal to this one, find the function of g. Okay, so from this, we recall change the position, turn the position upside down. So you come out with gx divided by fx equal to, so change the position of this, x squared minus x divided by x plus 1. So cross multiply, multiply with fx here. And fx is 2 over x. x squared plus, okay. okay. x squared minus x divided by x plus 1 multiplied with fx, which is 2 over x. Okay, for this one here now, um, x squared minus x, it is x and x minus 1. And this one divided by x plus 1 multiplied with 2 over x. Okay, so it is now 2 multiplied with x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Okay, so the answer is 2 times x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. The function of f and g given here. A and G find the values of A and B if F A equal to 65 okay, and G B equal to 90 where A is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so F T equal to 3 times T plus 2 in bracket square minus 10. So if F A equal to 65, so substitute here with F A which is 3 a plus 2 square minus 10 equal to 65. Okay, so then uh, 3a plus 2 square equal to 65 plus 10 equal to 75. A plus 2 square equal to 75 divided by 3, 25, right? Okay, so square, uh, square root left and right. So cancel between the two, a plus two equal to five, uh, plus minus five, okay? So then a equal to, so negative five minus, okay, bring it two to the left side, become negative, to the right side, become negative. So negative five minus two, negative seven, or a equal to five minus two equal to three. By the way, it mentioned that here a is greater than or equal to zero, positive, so this is rejected, so this only answer here, A equal to 3, so C is not the answer, you know. And then, GB equal to 19, and GT here, uh, substitute with 5B divided by 2 plus 4 equal to 19. So 5B over 2 equal to 19 minus 4 equal to 15, 
cross multiplier equal to 30. So 5B equal to 30. Then B equal to 30. Then 5 equal to 6. So 3 and 6 it is B here. Give it an MX and NX. Find the function of HX such that M HX equal to NX. Okay, M HX equal to NX. So M, M equal to 3X minus 2. So substitute H inside this X, you come up with 3 HX minus 2 equal to NX. NX equal to X square minus 5X plus 1. Okay, so take this one here, bring it become positive. So then 3HX equal to x square minus 5x 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and then hx equal to 1 over 3 then x square minus 5x plus 3 okay and this answer here is yes this one b okay. function hx and mx are defined by this one hx and mx Find the value of k such that hx square minus mx square equal to k. Okay. So then hx square equal to mx square equal to k. So e power of 2x plus 1 divided by e power of 2x minus 1 square plus 3 or minus sorry minus minus hx and m 2ex divided by e power of 2x minus 1 square equal to k ok for this one here now um, e power of 2x okay e power of 2x imagine that e power of 2x plus 1 square which is e power of 2x plus 1 so e power of 2x plus e power of 2x e power of 4x then e power of 2x times plus 1 and then another 1 plus 2 e power of 2x and 1 plus times 1 equal to 1 Okay, so for this one here now, it is e power of 4x plus 2 e power of 2x plus 1 and then minus this minus 2 e power of x. Okay, and this one e power of 2x minus 1 and e power of 2x minus 1 is equal here now. e power of 2x minus 1 squared. Okay, and then equal to k. So for this one here now, it is e power of 4x minus um, e power of 4x plus 2 e power of 2x plus 1. And then this one, 2 square equal to 4. 4e four e power of 2x. Okay, sorry. Okay, and this one here, uh, e power of 4x, and then 4, okay, e power of 2x, we got 2 and negative 4, so minus 2 e power of 2x plus 1 divided by, and this one here, e power of 4x minus 2 e power of 2x plus 1 equal to k. So for this one here now, e power of 2x, e power of 4x minus 2 e power of 2x plus 1, they are equal, right, between these two? Okay, so then it is k equal to 1. Okay. Both function f and g has a domain of this, have a domain of 
x greater than negative 1. Function of f and are defined as this one here. The function of f and g are defined as this one here. So find the value of x. Find the value of f. X if f inverse uh, composite of f inverse with the g equal to this one here. Now, okay, we are going to find the f inverse first. Uh, let okay y equal to natural log of x plus 1. So that log is a log to the base of e. So then it is e power of y equal to e base of e power of y equal to x plus 1. So then x equal to e power of y minus 1. So then well, we call this one is fx. So then f inverse equal to e to the power of x minus 1. f inverse equal to e power of x minus 1. So now, um, find f inverse with gx equal to e cube minus 1. So then f inverse gx equal to x squared plus 2x equal to e cubed minus 1. So then substitute this into an x of this one here, e power of x squared plus 2x minus 1 equal to e cubed minus 1. Okay, so negative 1 bring here become positive, so negative 1 plus 1 equal to 0. So now what we have here now is e power of x squared plus 2x equal to e cubed. So we just compare that. We call the index here x squared plus 2x equal to 3 or x squared plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So that it x uh, 1 times 3 equal to 3. So then minus 1 x plus so then x equal to 1 and negative 3. Okay, find the value of f x for this one here. Okay, we want it, we want it x that greater than negative 1. So it is x equal to 1 for this one here. So x equal to 1. Okay, question 13. For these two, both of function ax minus 1 and 3x plus b in bracket square, we got it, we have we call divide into two parts of the domain here. Okay, one which is less than 1, and another one here is greater than or equal to 1. So this is for uh, ax minus 1, and this one here is for 3x plus b in bracket square. So this is x equal to 1 that we call the domain for this. So given that limit x approach to 2, limit x approaching to 2, where 2 is somewhere around here, and it lies in what we call uh, in the domain of uh, x greater than or equal to 1 with a function of 3x plus b in bracket square. So when x approaching, okay. So this is a domain of uh, 3x plus b in bracket square. So this is x equal to 2. So limit x approaching to 2 left and right. And of course, we're going to refer to this function because this function referring to for the domain of x greater than 1, where 2 is greater than 1 here. Okay, Whether x approaching to 2 from left or x approaching to 2 from right. So that's one here we got. 3x plus b squared equal to uh, 25. Okay, so substitute the value of x equal to 2 here. 3 times 3 times 2 equal to 6 plus b squared equal to 25. So square root left and right. So come up with 6 plus b equal to plus minus 5. Okay. Is either 6 plus b equal to negative 5 or 6 plus b equal to
equal to 5. So then B equal to negative 5 minus 6, negative 11, or B equal to 5 minus 6 equal to negative 1. So F is continuous. And this fx is continuous at x equal to 1. Find a and b. Okay, for well, this one is continuous at x equal to 1. So x equal to 1, we look at, uh, we call x approaching to 1 from left. And the function involved is ax minus 1. So limit x approaching to 1 from left. Then the function is ax minus 1 equal to limit x approaching to 1 from right okay from right here it is 3 x uh, minus okay when b equal to negative 1 here b equal to negative 1 substitute b negative 1 here 3x minus 1 in bracket square okay so, so try to solve this until you get where a equal to 5 so a equal to 5 and b equal to negative 1, then the answer is c. Okay, find the horizontal asymptote for this one here now. Let, let me limit of x approaching to positive infinity of this one. Okay, for this one here now, let's okay, focus on the first part here, 3x minus 5. So let's imagine that if we Factorize, take an x outside, so then come out with 3 okay, minus 5 over x. Okay, and this one here now 2 square root of, okay, just imagine that if we, set, if we call factorize x square from x square minus 1. So x square, then it is 1 minus 1 over x square. Okay, let me make again x multiplied with 3, 3x. Three x multiplied with negative 5 over x and so do then we get negative 5 so 3x minus 5 x square times 1 equal to x square x square times 1 over x square okay we got minus 1 okay from here now square root of x square equal to an x okay so just imagine that if i cancel between this and this okay square root of x square equal to x so then come up with a limit of x approaching to positive infinity. Then from here, it gives us 3 minus 5, 5 over x, divided by 2 square root of 1 minus 1 over x squared. Okay, so when we substitute x approaching to positive infinity, it will get 0 here and also 0 here. So then we come up with 3 divided by 2 times 1 equal to 3 over 2. Okay. The same goes to this one here. Limit x approaching to negative infinity. For this one here, just the same concept of this, same working solution for this one here. x divided by 3 minus 5 over x and divide by 2 square root of x square 1 minus 1 over x square. Okay. So, between this and this x square here, and when the limit x approaches to negative infinity, this one here is 0 and also 0. But when it comes to negative, then we add up with negative sign here, and we come up with 3 divided by negative 2 times 1 here, times 1 equal to negative 3 over 2. So this is a horizontal asymptote with a positive value of y and a negative value of y. So it is negative plus minus 3 over 2. Okay. Parametric equation of curve, give me this one here. Find dy dx for the curve. Okay. So, we got x equal to negative 9 sine cube t. So, then dx dt equal to negative 9. Okay. Differentiate the power of 3 first, cube. So, differentiate 3 sine square t and also now, just now we differentiate the power 3 and 2 and differentiate the sine, it give you cos t and differentiate t equal to 1. 
So simplify this negative 27 sine square t cos t. Okay. dy dt equal to uh, differentiate t 3 equal to 0 and then negative 3 negative 3 differentiate the power of 3 here and then cos square t differentiate cos it gives you negative sine t and differentiate t equal to 1 okay so negative times negative positive 3 times 3 equal to 9 cos square t sine t okay so then dy dx equal to dy dt times dt dx okay dy dt is all here 9 cos square t sine t and dt dx is opposite of one reciprocal of 1 over dx dt or dt dx it is 1 over uh, negative 27 sine square t cos t okay cos square divided by cos sine divided by sine square so what's left here now we got cos and we got sine cos over sine is cotangent t okay 9 over negative 27 is negative 1 over 3 right okay so is negative 1 over 3 cotangent t a So this one given uh, using implicit differentiation, find the values of dy dx at x equal to 1. So derive of this 1 by 1. Okay. So 3y squared minus xy. Then plus with x squared equal to so this one surely equal to 0 then. Okay, so differentiate this 2 times 3 equal to 6y. Since that differentiate y with respect to the x, then come out with dy dx. Okay, now u and v. Assume that this is a u and v. So differentiate x equal to 1, multiply with y, y. And then plus with, just now we differentiate x, so we write down the x here. Now it's time for y. Differentiate y equal to 1. And since that because differentiate y respect to the x, then come out with dy dx. Then differentiate x squared respect to the x, 2x equal to 0. So you get okay, 2x equal to 0. So then now uh, 6xy, 6y dy dx minus y minus x dy dx minus plus 2x equal to 0 so then take this to, to the left side and come up with y minus 2x and factorize between these two uh, and divide by divide left and right okay 6y minus x dy dx equal to y minus 2x so then dy dx equal to y minus 2x divided by 6y minus x so then when x equal to 1 okay class when x equal to 1 if substitute x equal to 1 here and here we will get the value or the record the total record the value of dy dx because we still need to find the value of y in this case we can substitute x equal to 1 into the this function first okay so then uh, <coughs> we substitute x equal to 1 here so we got 3y squared minus y 
and then x square 1 square equal to 1 1 and then 3 bring up here become negative so 1 minus 3 minus 2 equal to 0 okay from here it gave us 3y plus 2 and then y minus 1 so then there will be two values of y y equal to negative 3 over 2 and y equal to 1 okay so guys girls we got two uh, combination here where x equal to 1 and negative 3 over 2 and also 1 with 1 okay so if this is the value of x and y substitute into dy dx try by yourself this one we're going to give you uh, dy dx is 1 over 5 y prime is 1 over 5 and this is the combination of x and y substitute into dy dx and this one will give you y prime or dy dx equal to 8 over 15 so 8 over 15 and 1 over 5 uh, this one is negative 1 over 5 so negative 1 over 5 and 8 over 5 or 8 over 15 equal to a okay test yourself this combination of x and y x and y because we got two values of y here with the one value of x where's the value of x is now x equal to 1 so we got two values of uh, dy dx so find dy dx of this one here so y prime equal to differentiate x equal to 1 1 multiplied with natural log of x square plus with okay this is u and this is v so then x and then differentiate this 2 and then natural log of x 2 ln x 2 minus 1 equal to 1 and then differentiate ln it gives you 1 over x and differentiate x equal to 1. So then, ln x squared plus okay, x divided by x. So 2 ln x. Okay, so for this one here, uh, 2 ln x. Okay, 2 ln x plus ln x in bracket square. This one here. Okay, given that y equal to a, okay, as you see in this one, uh, as you see the screen here now, where a and b are constant, determine value of a and b if the value x equal to zero, as second derivative it is equal to two, and x equal to zero. Okay, so then y prime or the value x equal to differentiate a x equal to an a plus with okay, differentiate a b x equal to b e to the power of x plus with bx okay the bx and differentiate ex again e to the power of x so a plus with uh, b e to the power of x 1 plus x okay so if we make it this one equal to 0 uh, okay for this one at x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 okay so when dy dx equal to 0 and x equal to 0 so y prime equal to 0 here and x equal to 0 so uh, let's say okay b e to the power of 0 plus with b 0 e to the power of 0 e power of 0 equal to 1 1 times b equal to b b times 0 equal to 0 times this is 1 also equal to 0 so a plus b equal to 0 where a equal to negative b okay so then next is second derivative of y y double prime equal to okay 
differentiate A equal to 0 and differentiate this, it will give you B, differentiate B equal to 1, then dx plus with B, and differentiate e power of x equal to e to the power of x. And there is also plus with differentiate bx equal to b dx plus with bx. And differentiate of ex equal to e to the power of x. Okay. So when the second derivative of y respect in this one here equal to 2. Okay, equal to 2 and x equal to 0. So it means that here, e power of 0, okay, x equal to 0, substitute here, we got it here, here, and here, and also this one dx. This is 1, 1, e power of 0 equal to 1, okay, e power of 0 equal to 1, and e power of 0 equal to 1. So we got 1 plus b, plus with b plus with b times 1 uh, x equal to 0 and e power of 0 equal to 1 0 here equal to 2 okay so 2b equal to b equal to 2 minus 1 equal to 1 then b equal to 1 over 2 Okay, class, uh, you double check uh, for this one here. Okay, uh, B0 with E power 0 equal to 0. And this one, okay, according to the answers given here, is 0. So this also 1. One here. Okay. Differentiate b e power of x e power of x and b differentiate e of x e x okay. And then this one differentiate of b x equal to b e power of x and b x here. It give us here supposedly this one is a uh, two b equal to two b equal to two then b equal to one. So that a equal to negative 1. Okay, test by yourself. Uh, try, recall, try this question by yourself. That the answers for this one here is A negative 1, B 1. Okay. An inverted cone, inverted cone of 20 centimeter tall. Okay, the height is 20, has an opening radius of radius where r equal to an 8, initially full of water. Okay, now inside here is a full of water. The water now drain from the cone. Okay, let's say there's a hole there, and then the water drain from the cone at constant rate of 15 centimeter cube per second. Where this is represent dv dt. Okay. The water surface level falls as a result. How fast is that? How fast is level of water in the cone falling? Okay. So now, uh, the volume of this cone is one over three pi r squared. H. Okay. One over three pi r squared H. And then the this we call the ratio between the height and also the radius, where the radius and the height equal to eight over twenty. So then r equal to uh, no, is a uh, we r equal to eight over twenty or two over five ish. Okay. So then substitute here one over three i r equal to 2 over 5 h times h so it is 1 over 3 uh, 1 over 3 with 2 over 5 equal to 2 over 15 okay pi h squared okay this is square here now sorry
Okay, so this is dvd d. So 2 squared equal to 4 times 1 equal to 4. 5 squared 25 times 3 is 75. Pi h squared times h pi h cubed. So dv dh equal to. So dv dh here now equal to 3. Three here, so three with seventy-five is one over twenty-five. Four over twenty-five pi h squared. Okay, so dvdt equal to dvdh and dh dt. So dh dt uh, dvdt is given here, which is fifteen, and then dvdh equal to. 4 over 25 pi h squared. So then dh dt equal to this one uh, okay this is 15 equal to dvdh 4 over 25 pi h squared dh dt so then dh dt substitute um, so for this one here uh, okay 50 divide by everything here bring to the side here so dh dt equal to you should get negative okay this one is negative because the water is running out from the code so it's a negative so then dhdt equal to negative 15 divided by 4 over 25 pi h squared which is negative 375 divided by 4 pi h squared this is the one b okay last final one here okay i'm sorry if this video is taking long because I'm trying to discuss all the question uh, all together. I'm not going to uh, pick all the question one by one. Okay, so now future company estimates that weekly profit by manufacturing here has a finish hands finished reproduction of display can be given by this one here. What weekly production rate will maximize the profit here? Okay, so uh, it is P X equal to negative X cube plus 3x squared plus 2880x minus 500 okay so then p prime x equal to negative 3x squared plus 6x plus 2880 so when we make it this one equal to 0 then so from here it gives us x squared minus 2x minus 960 equal to 0 factorized then we get x equal to 32 or x equal to negative 30 and we differentiate for the second time p double prime x equal to negative 6x plus 6 Okay, with these two values of x, substitute, okay, when x equal to 32, so then p double prime 32 equal to negative 186, negative 186, then come up with relative maxima, and when x equal to negative 30, so then p double prime negative 30 equal to 186 which give us tells us is a relative minimum so we take this one here x equal to 32 for maximize the product profit x equal to 32 okay that's all for today guys and girls i do hope that this video will help you to understood the process of finding the solution for each of the question and hopefully you'll all get the best result in your examination that's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a nice day.